Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. This video is to strengthen your legs and your butt. It's also to balance, energize, and clear your root chakra. I wanted to do this video with you guys, so I did not do any yoga or any kind of warm ups before I started my practice. We're standing in mountain pose, feet are hip width apart, palms facing forward, working on your alignment, grounding your feet down, and reaching your head to the ceiling. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose, and let's start this. Bend your knees and hold. You can do a number of things with your arms. You can have them forward, in prayer, above your head, cactus arms on your hips, or just hanging down. I'm going to have mine forward, palms up in a receiving position. Right now we're working on building some heat into the body, get our bodies warmed up for the practice that we're about to do. And then forward fold. It's the first forward fold. So bend your knees as much as you need to let your body hang. Hey, there's Sweepy. Hi, Sweepy. Bend your knees if you need to, pedaling them back and forth, wiggle, anything that feels good to you. We're going to do halfway lift with a flat back and then forward fold again. And then roll vertebrae by vertebrae up, raise your arms. Seal it down the center. We are gonna work on energizing your roots with a grounding exercise to open up your leg channels. We're gonna be squatting up and down. When you go back up, do not straighten your legs all the way, go about 90%. Straightening your legs shuts off the charge we're trying to build. So we're just gonna slowly raise up and root down. Remember to not straighten your legs all the way. Easy down. Easy up. And we're gonna hold it. You got this. Breathe into it. Forward fold. Again, if you want to leave your knees bent, that's fine. Halfway lift with flat back, forward fold, and roll up all the way down the heart center. I am much more comfortable with my feet together, and you can leave your feet hip width apart if that's more comfortable. Again, mountain pose, chair pose. You can have your arms up, again, forward, whatever feels comfortable to you. And we're holding. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, forward fold. Halfway lift. Sweepy, get out of the way. Down, plant your hands. Right leg, left leg into a high plank. You're looking forward. You're pushing into the ground. Your shoulders are away from your ears and we're holding. If you want to wiggle a little bit, move back and forth, it's your first plank. Sweepy wants to be a star. She is a star. Look at her. We're holding. Activate your legs in this pose. Flex them, strengthen them, and also suck in your stomach. Use your core. Knees down, and then chest and chin to the mat. A little back stretch, and then all the way to your belly. For low cobra, raise up. 
Your arms are close to your body and down. Raise up using your back muscles, not pushing with your hands and down. And also activating your legs, pushing your toes into the mat and down. Lift up, child's pose. You can have your knees together or knees apart with your toes touching, whatever is more comfortable for you. This is a resting pose. You can always go to this pose if any of this video is too overwhelming. Up. Syndrome making a slight appearance. Take your hands, clasp them outwards, raise them up, stretch to the right, stretch to the left, and then stretch behind you all the way down, hands and knees. Getting ready for cat-cow, we're going to arch our back and then round our back. So we're breathing in, looking up, breathing out, rounding, and repeat. This is a great warm up for your back. Get on your forearms with your elbows shoulder width apart. We're going to be doing some leg lifts. Your knees are right underneath your hips, right leg back, and just up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Other leg, left leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Child's pose, I like spreading my knees further out after doing these leg lifts. Just rest for a minute and breathe. And then back up. We're getting into downward dog. It is always good to bend your knees for your first down dog. Pedal your feet one at a time. Your feet are hip width. Make sure your fingers are spread wide facing forward. We're gonna be stepping our right leg forward. Tuck it all the way in, in between your hands, and then your left. Halfway lift, forward fold, Rise all the way up, down the center. I always have to readjust my clothes, ain't no shame. Mountain pose, and then again, chair pose. Hold it. And then forward fold, halfway lift, plant your hands, left leg back, right leg back, high plank. Again, this works your entire body, so activate everything. Move back and forth if that's comfortable. 
with every yoga practice I do, I always hold plank. Hold it, and then knees down, again, chest and chin to the mat, and then all the way to your belly to cobra, down, lift up, and down, all the way back to child's pose. Rest for a second. And then up, again on your forearms, position your body, and then kick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna switch. Kick up with the left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down. Child's pose. And then up, down dog. This is also a resting pose. You can always go to child's pose or down dog. And left leg forward, right leg forward, halfway lift, forward fold, all the way up, and seal it down. chest look at your feet are they forward straight and again chair pose holding it breathe into it know that you are getting stronger and then forward fold halfway lift plant your hands right leg back left leg back high plank and hold it. Lift your right leg up and hover it. Down, left leg, raise it up and hold it. And down, high plank, Lower all the way down. Make sure your elbows are close to your body. We're gonna go to a high cobra, if you can, or low cobra, or up dog. And then down, back into child's pose. on your forearms again, right leg back and lifting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Now for the left leg. Left leg back and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
child's pose, any version you feel you need right now. Up and downward dog. Readjust your feet. We are going to do leg lifts in down dog, starting with your right foot. And you can move your left foot over a little bit. Right foot ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it up. as high as you can and then bring it through in between your hands for a supported lunge. Readjust your feet if you need to. Try to reach your heart forward, use your fingertips or if you have blocks, those are also helpful. And we're holding it. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your nose if you can. Put your knee down. We're gonna first lead with our chest over that right leg. Flex that right foot, reach forward or put your hands wherever it is most comfortable. And we are holding it. And then back to low lunge, plant your hands, right foot back, high plank, shift your weight forward and lower halfway down, elbows close to your body, and then to up dog, thighs are not on the mat, and then down dog. And we will do leg lifts on the left side. If you need to move your right leg in a little bit, left leg up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and hold it. My hands were slipping a little bit in this pose. Try to root your hands down and get real grippy. Getting ready to bring that left leg through in between your hands. Plant it for a supported lunge. Bring that heart forward on your fingertips or use blocks. And we are holding it. This is great for strength and flexibility. Right knee down, and again, we're going to fold over that left leg, flexing the foot, and more with a flat back as possible, leading with the heart, instead of putting your forehead on your shin. You will feel a lot of sensation in the back of your leg. You will quickly figure out the difference between pain and just discomfort. And then shift forward, back to lunge, left leg back, high plank. Hold it, shift your weight forward, halfway down into up dog and then back to down dog. And we will rest a little bit in down dog. For everyone working on jumping all the way to your hands, it's good to start with a little hop 
and then a little hop to your hands, flat back, forward fold, all the way up, down the center. Readjust your feet, mountain pose, always readjusting. You know what we're going to do. Chair pose, y'all. Just do it. It's so good for you. Hold it. You got it. And then forward fold. Halfway up. Plant your hands, left leg back, right leg back, high plank, hold it. We are going to do leg lifts in plank, starting with the right foot. Lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, hold it. Shift forward, lower halfway down. Up dog. Two, down dog. Take a little rest in down dog, or perhaps child's pose. But get ready, because we're gonna do leg lifts again, starting with the right leg. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it. Sweet pea making an appearance. And then bring that right leg all the way in between your hands into a high lunge and guess what we are gonna hold it this time we are going to straighten the right leg and fold over reaching forward that back heel does not need to touch the mat. You can leave that foot forward. You can move it to more of a 45 degree angle, whatever is easiest. Try to keep your hips forward. Again, an awesome stretch. Always important to breathe into any stretch. Bend that right knee. Right leg back, keep that leg up, hold it, shift forward, halfway down, up dog, to down dog. Getting ready for leg lifts on your left side. Get your left leg ready for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it. And then bring that left knee in and in between your hands. Set yourself up for high lunge. Again, we are going to hold it and make sure you breathe. 
Anytime I am holding a pose, I am always counting. I generally count my breaths. So I'll either count 10, 20, 30, 50, 60 breaths. It's good to have an equal amount on both sides. And we're going to get ready to fold over that left leg. Reach forward if you can. If you can touch your forehead to your shin. The longer you hold a pose, the better. I know it can be uncomfortable, but it's so awesome for you. You bend so you don't break. Am I right? Bend that left leg in plank, but leave the left leg lifted. Shift your weight forward, halfway down, up dog, to down dog. Take a little rest in down dog or child's pose, getting ready to jump through to your hands. You want to empty your breath and hop and hop or jump all the way to your hands. Flat back, forward fold, all the way up, down the center. I chose to not edit out all the times I'm adjusting because this is real life. This is what my yoga practice generally looks like. Again, center yourself, align, and chair pose. You knew we were going to do it, right? Hold it. And then forward fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, right leg back, left leg back, high plank, hold it. We are going to set up for side plank. You're going to shift your weight to your right, stack your hips, reach your hand up high, lift your hips up. You can put that knee down if you need to. Shift to the other side, the left side, again stack your hips, reach that arm up high, back down to high plank, hold it. Knees down, child's pose. You can have your arms forward or you can wrap them behind you. A well-deserved rest in child's pose. When you're ready, get up. We're going to do dolphin, so you can clasp your hands or you can have your hands flat on the mat. That is more comfortable for me. You want your elbows shoulder width apart. And then it's just like down dog. You raise up your hips. Your heels do not need to reach the mat. You go as close as you can and we're going to hold it. And of course, we are going to do leg lifts starting with the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, and hold it. Lower down, left leg. Ready? Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it. You guys are strong. Lower the left leg down, and we're going to hold this longer, you guys. Try to walk your feet even closer. Look forward if you can. And then, boom, child's pose. And then get up, release your neck, roll it from side to side. Clasp your hands and reverse them all the way up. Shift to the right, to the left, back, and then down. And then back to down dog. Getting ready to get the right leg in between your hands and then shift your way forward. Have your legs as far out as that's comfortable for you. Your toes will be out a little bit and just hang forward. If you wanna move, shift your weight Release the hips. You can just move from side to side or you can just chill. Roll all the way up. For goddess pose, your toes are gonna to be pointed out, not all the way, and then you're gonna squat down. Try to have a flat back like you're up against a wall. And then those are cactus arms. And we're holding with every breath try to get a little bit deeper it's kind of crazy looking but awesome up hands on your hips flat back all the way down this is more of a gentle wide-legged forward fold hands on your hips flat back all the way up and again goddess pose try to go even lower this time if you can we are here doing this breathe it's awesome yoga's the best And then hands on your hips, jump your feet together. We are going to be doing tree pose. Shift your weight onto your left foot and bring your right heel as far up as you can. And you want your leg out. If you need to hold onto that leg, that's fine. Otherwise, go into prayer and hold. It's good to focus your line of vision on one thing. It's really good for balance. Just kind of zero in on that object or spot on the wall and you can hold this 
for a very long time. We're going to transfer our arms up overhead, keeping the balance and that straight line. Root down with that standing leg and then rise up with your arms and your heart. Beautiful tree pose. Down the center. Lower the leg. Transfer your weight onto your right leg. Get the left leg all the way in the crook of your groin. Prayer pose. And try to keep strong and balanced. Shift your arms up and hold it. Again, rooting down, but also raising up like a goddamn tree. Trees are life. You are life. Down the center and then release. Ah, love it. Let's get down to the mat for some seated postures. First, we are going to start with the left leg folded in, kind of just like tree, what we just did. You want to lift your sit bones and we are going to flex that right foot and lead with the heart. Try to get a flat back. You don't want to necessarily pull with your hands very hard. You want to use more of your core muscles to get your body down. And then release and do the other side. So your left leg will be stretched out and your right leg in. It's always good to have a cat for assistance. And again, reaching your heart towards your toes. The longer you hold, the more flexible you will get and always breathe. And then release and switch legs again. Same position. This time we are going to fold over the leg. So it's okay to have a round back. If you can wrap your hands around your foot or also wrap around so you can grab one of your wrists. Whatever is possible for you. And remember to flex that foot. And then switch legs again. Left leg is forward now, and again, fold over that extended leg. and release. We're going to bring both legs forward. Again, adjust your seat, move your sits bones. You want to take your two peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, 
And again, we're leading with our heart, trying to get your chin to touch your toes or what it seems like. And again, you don't want to necessarily pull really hard with your hands. You want to use your core muscles, engage your legs, flex your feet, release, breathe a little bit, and then we're going to forward fold, trying to get your forehead on your legs. If you can touch your toes, awesome. And release. Work your way onto your back with your knees bent and your arms flat next to you. You want to be able to barely touch your heels with your fingertips. Your feet are about hip width apart, your knees straight up, not splayed outward or inward. For your hands, you can have them laying flat like this, or you can do robot arms, and we're going to be working into bridge, which is raising the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, rest. And we will start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and rest. Getting ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, rest. We are going to use robot arms, which just adds a little bit more of a support. And you're going to try to lift your hips as far as you can and we're holding and then I want you to try to extend your right leg and hold it and then try to extend your left leg trying to keep those hips high it's hard left leg down 
and then all the way down, rest. And again, robot arms, lift up your hips, hold it. You want to really engage your legs, your butt. If you want to go into full bridge with the hands clasped underneath, feel free. I'm not showing that because I wanted to do a little bit more of a beginner bridge, especially after all of the leg action we got today. And we are holding it. and then release. Bring your knees into your chest. Grab them with your hands if you wanna roll around a little bit to release your lower back. One of my favorite things to do is to slam my feet on the ground and just drop your feet. Pick them up and drop them again. Pick them up and drop them again. It's an amazing activity for some reason. It just makes me feel good. I don't know if it'll make you feel good too. Grab your knees and tuck them in one more time. Roll around. Feet down. And we're going into Shavasana. You want to make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears your legs as far apart as comfortable, your arms resting, palms up, and this is to seal all the work you did. Close your eyes and relax. Stay here as long as you need, and when you're ready, you can go into the fetal position on your right side And then up into a comfortable seat. You can meditate further. Otherwise, namaste. Thank you so much for watching this video. Practicing with me. Choose compassion every single day for yourself, for others, for humans, for animals, for the environment. I thank you. And Sweet Pea thanks you. Namaste.